bloke. Uh, <laughs> All right, good morning. So today, well, I take that back. Yesterday we got the garlic planted. I think it's a little late. It's early November right now, not knowing when this video comes out. So we got the garlic in. Better late than never is what we're going with. We're up uh, past dark 030 last night getting that done. So today, so what we did, if this helps, we dug out about six inches of soil, and then we put compost as one layer, I don't know, like two inches. And then we put the garlic in that, and then we put another layer of compost on top of that, probably the same two inches or so. And then to this morning, we're gonna put that six inches of soil that we dug out, is in a pile, you probably see it over there, maybe you don't. We're gonna put that on top of the garlic, and then we want to plant our cover crop in the rest of this field um today i think those are our two main objectives so we get that done and then the um honey extractor should be here today so i'm pretty excited about that so that we can start spinning a couple of the frames that we did get to see how it works and get some honey out so enjoy I thought we could do the, okay, so we're going to spread this. Let's spread it on the areas that are open. Well, actually, if you could add. Add a little bit more dirt to like this section. Okay. This could be cringe and clover, and then you can fill that in. Um, if we spread the crimson clover in these level spot, other level spots, oh, it's getting bright on here. Um, Lisa is putting pine needles all over all of our hard work. <laughs> but it's for a reason. Why pine needles and why not hay? And why not um, anything else that you could put over there to be mulch? Because the idea is for it to be mulch, right? Yes. So, one, we're not doing hay. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh. Yeah, it's a good girl. I'll start spreading. You tell the people. Oh, so I'd say there's a couple of reasons why we're not doing straw or hay. One, we can't find anywhere locally that they could tell us whether or not 
that farmer or Get to the point, Lisa. distributor <laughs> used any kind of chemical fertilizer such as even a 2,4-D which is associated with Grazon and Grazon used to be <coughs> made years ago by the Dow Company. We found that that particular pesticide or fertilizer, whatever you want to call it, has caused people to be sick. So, in the interim... Like cancer sick or like uh, I have a cold sick? Well, I think it depends on that person. Um, so ultimately, we don't want to use any pesticides or fertilizers per se, which have been chemically modified. So what she's trying to say <laughs> is we're going organic. <laughs> so good point. We're using organic. what we've got available. Because we're, we're doing pine needles. Because if you go and you dig up the pine needles and the dirt around every single one of these trees out uh, here. Now we're getting to the point. Pay people. <laughs> the dirt soil, not just dirt. Dirt to me is fluffy, dry stuff that can't grow anything. So the Don't soil, dirty. soil is black, like it's black gold. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And it's grown and been here for years. So we have enough pine needles. If only you'd get so excited about me. <laughs> so we're using pine needles to one, insulate the crop that we've planted. So in this row, the higher <coughs> plots are hardneck garlic. We have four different varieties. Hardneck, not redneck. <laughs> and they have to be four to six inches deep. So that's why those plots are higher. And the pine needles will break down naturally. So an insulation, just like the forest does, which is super exciting to me. And then the lower parts is reseeded uh, crimson clover, which is a beautiful long-stemmed crimson clover, red crimson, red color for the bees. For the bees, and they look cool. They look cool, and it will organically help the soil. We're using what we got and we're yeah. using what has never for guaranteed been sprayed with any pesticides, herbicides, mm -hmm. herbicides. What are all the things? Any of that crap. Yeah. And so, it's proven to work pretty good. So we just look at the dirt out there. Yeah. And we got plenty of it. So hopefully that'll work pretty good. So we got the garlic in today. Do you remember all the types of garlic? Uh, we have variety music. Music, like a trumpet? Yep. And then premium white. And those two are much bigger bulbs. And then the other two are, I can't, I don't know, I can't pronounce it. It's a country in the Middle East. Ubekistan? 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 Ubekistan. No, that's not right. Now you got me screwed up. I could have said it if you didn't say anything. <laughs> it's not Ubek, it's... It's pronounced a little bit different. It's spelled that way with a U. And then the last one is Dengues Dengueski. Dengueski? I think I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. But they're smaller bulbs. <coughs> so <clears throat> that's the hardneck garlic that we've got planted. We're hoping the hardneck is the solution because we tried yeah. elephant garlic, which is apparently a soft neck garlic, and it just rotted in the ground. Yeah. It, it went back to the earth. <laughs> brother <laughs> all right so what else is up for today so we do want to get the rest of this field planted with a cover crop yeah to help break up the soil and to help amend i don't know if that's the right word it, it is to get the soil to hold water and yeah. get it to come back to actually be soil and not just dirt clay dirt yeah that when it rains it's just a sheet of water running right off this thing yeah it needs to withhold Withhold? Withhold. Hold. No, it needs it to hold, hold water. Hold the water. Yeah. Like a sponge. Yeah. So our cover crop combination just off the top of my head is more crimson clover, radish, 
uh, sweet pea. But it's a specific radish, just like right. a big, huge white radish. Yeah, and the roots go deep. And All that, the roots go deep. That and radish it, is the 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 reason people use that is it. The it, intent is it breaks up the soil. Yeah. Because it expands and then it holds that water. So as it rots back into the earth, <laughs> then it lets that water back out. Yeah. What's it called? Regenerative. Regenerative farming. farming. Yeah, that's kind of what we're after. Yeah. We personally don't have cattle, rabbits, yeah. chickens. We have Luria. True. She stirs <laughs> up a lot of dust. Yes. We just um, have her run in circles. But yeah, so we'll continue to search out in our local area um, farmers with, you know, chickens, cattle, um, goats, all that. Um, without rocks. Without rocks. So from here on out, I think this is year two, we'll be planting above the soil because it's just a rock garden out here. Next year will be year two. We're coming up on year one. Oh. The end yes. of November here in a few weeks will be that we've been here for one year. One year already. Whew. Um, but hey, we got a lot done. Yes. Um, Say hi, Luria. That's a good girl. See, I got a bath and I'm so fluffy. You're about to witness the <laughs> most ridiculous thing you have ever seen. This is the reason <laughs> our one neighbor is watching us out the window all the time. You think he's got binoculars? <laughs> Probably. Old people <laughs> generally are... Uh, are curious folks. My grandma used to do the same thing apparently as well. I learned that Grandma Smith yeah, from Jeff. He's like, oh, your grandmother did the same thing all the time. <laughs> anyway, sorry, side conversation. I want to say enjoy. Yes. Get a drink. Get some to eat. Put your feet up. I'm sure it'll be a good laugh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Especially hey, if Chris puts it on a speed up. What's it called? Now there's pressure. <laughs> You work with what you got. This is an example of working with what you got. That's a lot of seed. Super exciting. Okay. Let's go. Am I going to go side by side? Yes. Okay. So what? Okay, so as you can see, we're spreading our cover crop. It's going to be under the snow when it starts snowing and come spring, hopefully the loft should pop up. And the combination that we're doing is forage radish because they get super big and long and their roots are long, so they grow deep and help break up the clay soil. Um, the next one is a sweet pea that does the same thing. Then we have buckwheat, uh, inner mountain west honeybee mix, San Juan, and crimson clover. So it's a combination. There'll be some color, all adding nutrients back into the soil. And then hopefully next year, it'll be easier to plant in because it'll work the ground, work the clay, soften it up. So we'll see. So each year we're gonna try something different until we get the black gold soil that we're after. Oh yeah, you did good. Okay, this half of the field's done. Let's load her up, get the second half done. At yeah. least we'll have a thin coat. There you go. I think that's the best we're gonna hope for at this point. It's probably way too dark for everybody to see. Those little tiny red ones? Yeah. Or the big white radish? Yeah. That's weird. All right, that makes six. Six of these. Well, I'm glad we didn't load them up the first time because you would have been out and then went, oh. I didn't realize. You got to remember what number the colors are on. Well, as bad as I thought this was going to be, 
This ain't bad. No. I mean, it's not hard work. No. And we're using what we got. Yep. We have to spend a couple hundred dollars on a heat spreader. I'd just be ecstatic what it's going to, how much it's going to improve this dirt and turn it into soil. Well, that's going to take several years, but this is a good start. Yeah. I think okay, so the, um, the old tractor we sold. Super happy about that. So when you put something on uh, Facebook Marketplace and in 24 hours somebody comes to look at it and buys it, you deliver it for them just to be a nice guy. They were challenged to find a trailer to be able to put the tractor on. So it's like, hey, we're going to be in town the next couple of days, so I'll just bring it to you. So that's pretty cool. It is a beautiful day. Lisa, do you know how warm it is? I gotta look at the temperature thing. Holy cannoli. The other day we we're freezing our butts off. It's um, not even 50 degrees. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Well, for me, loading this tractor and look at these split time. You're sweating. A little bit of, is it soaking through? No, just like. Or I, I just look tell. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about selling the tractor? So, a nice job. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank Five you. Five star review. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go deliver this. And uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. So this should be. Yeah. Wow. Minute. It's one of those box in a box. <laughs> he put it in a wood crate. That's cool. How awesome is that? So, I guess you know that um, it doesn't have any broken parts. So, we should open it from the bottom. Maybe it is the bottom. So that you could lift the cardboard off. Because we need to take it in the cabin because it's too cold to do any honey extraction in here. So then there's another box inside the wood box. Oh, there you go. This stuff. So this must be the original box that this was shipped in from, I think they're made in France. So let me get this out and then we'll carry, I'll carry the stuff individually into the cabin so it can start warming up. Alright, so here's the first group of stuff. There's a letter for you. Letter for me? Yep. Oh, I it love... Says, it says for Lisa, right here. Lisa, love letters. Yep, and then I'll be back with more. Okay. Alright, more parts and pieces for you. These are gonna Apparently that oh. was the open side. And here's the shiny part. Holy smoke. I think we just let that warm up here. Let the dogs figure out what it is. And we'll be back with more. All right, so we'll get this together. So since we're dealing with inside, since it's cold outside, I'm just gonna do the old on the floor in the living room trick. But I gotta say, we bought this from Dr. Leo, horizontal, horizont, horizontalhives.com. Um, because that's where we got the plans for the horizontal hives. You can get those for free too. It horizontal hives starting to sound like a commercial for horizontal hives. 
anyway, the way they packaged that, absolutely brilliant. Um, they took, so this, does it say what honey extractor this is? Like, is there a manufacturer name? Mm, not on this little paperwork. Anyway, some fancy one from Italy. Can you get into that? They took their packaging. Can you hit that too? And uh, took it five steps further. Um, and there was no damage, so we were looking at prices. And the other place that I could find that sold the same one said the damage was very likely in shipping. That didn't sound good. And so far, everything that we've gotten from uh, the folks at Horizontal Hives has been perfect and amazing. So why not support the guy that wrote the book? So big thank you to them. And apparently they've been using this same one for a couple years and are pretty happy with it. And again, so far, everything that they've said or done has turned out spot on. As far as they don't come with washers. I really think these should come with washers. Tighten it down and get the old spectacles out and see. Yeah, so let's make a note and get some washers for these guys. Because otherwise you're going to chew up this frame and keep it in really tight. I'll do the screwing. Oh, I know. I just I was visualizing it in its old little sleeve. And then you want to attach the motor. Oh, I don't know. Probably after you do the leg. I think just um, install using common sense. I don't even think we have any extra parts left over. Oh, good. That's weird. <laughs> I think they kept it simple. Just simple. Yeah, just enough to break it down for shipping. Right? Okay, back to work. So I think we're just picking these off, right? Yeah, so that when you spin it, then it can release the honey. Yep. And it doesn't have to be anything but the surface. Right. Still have a little bit to go. Well, and then we got one more frame to do because the hole is three. Is it clean enough to start putting these in? Uh -huh. Clean it out. So what we'll do... We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to set those guys in there. Say a little prayer. So it's got three of them. And then I think we just close the lid and go. Okay, you ready? Ready. And just a little bit. I right. hear it. I hit clip fast once, twice. <laughs> Is this when we pray? Five minutes, I just don't remember the speed, wherever I read that. Here we go, back. Do you say spray to the side? Yes. Sweet. I feel like the legs are completely, <laughs> it's, it's like on a skating rink. Well, our floor is slippery. We'll have to make a base for it. No kidding. We got that. Do we go any faster? <laughs> it's air. We're taking it off. 
you're watching from this view, I apologize. Things are a little crazy right now. But it smells good. Crazy is not always bad. First all the frames, and now this thing is perfectly still on, I'm going to say, speed 2. So I've got the 5 minute timer started. There it goes up one more. I'm going to call that speed 3. Why is it not moving? So I wonder with the extra cone that came off, if somehow that's balanced everything. Ooh. So again, I'm going with all the shaking is not due to the machine, but due to the unbalanced honey. Yeah. Because look at it now. Yeah. I think that speed to this, is about what you would get if you were doing a hand crank. No, There's got to be a sure. reason that they go so fast and that that option is there. I just don't know what that reason is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. So we're double fil filtering. And look how dark that is. That's interesting. So the fields around here, besides our flowers, sunflowers, is wheat. I feel like there should have been angels singing. Quarter of the way, quarter to a third.